A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video, but more on that later. <laughs> so good. Cool, right? Oh my gosh. Blue. It's amazing. I thought I would just run you through our week because it's been a strange one. A great one, but a strange one for sure. We had um, our friend Noah up again to help build, which was exactly what we needed because sometimes you just need a boost of energy to keep going on such a big project. Like the shipping container project is immense. It's it can be overwhelming on it, if I'm honest, like, but when you get like some energy from somebody else who, especially Noah, who is like, just has built so many cabinets this year that he can come in and be like, this is how we do it. Let's make it happen. Let's like push ourselves. Um, I think it was exactly what we needed, especially because it was the weirdest week. I feel like I was just getting settled, feeling like really, really comfortable up here and uh, finding my rhythm and then I don't know if you saw in the news or you experienced it yourself there were all these fires in Canada which I hope if you're watching and you're in Canada that you are safe and that yeah everybody who was experiencing those fires on a much more like personal level is okay but here in upstate you know I never really had pictured forest fires as something that would be part of our environment and the fires obviously didn't get all the way here but the smoke was so intense like the whole sky was just murky like when you looked at the sun it was a red orb it, like you could actually look directly at the sun now that we were doing that it's not good for you but it's just that when you're breathing it felt like you're breathing in a campfire but all day and so for max and i we just realized it's time for women and children to evacuate the shipping container so we went to my parents house just so that we could be in like a closed space and not be ay, 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 the bugs around here um not be breathing in that air the whole time so that was kind of a bummer because we didn't get to be up here this week but while we were gone the guys really got to work they put in so much effort to get the kitchen in such better shape having like a boost of energy from someone else like somebody who can like come and really like motivate and drive things forward is just the best thing and exactly what you need. And I think that that's actually something that we're really looking forward to. We have two friends coming in July and they're gonna stay in the Walton and then another friend coming for a couple of weeks in August and they're gonna stay in the Walton and everybody's coming to help on the project. And it's, it's like surreal to have people here coming to support us build out our home and yeah, Noah and Lou had a big mission this week, and that was to build all of the cabinets in the shipping container kitchen. <sighs> we didn't know, like, how to arrange them at first, like, which size, because, you know, this isn't, like, a standard thing. You're not, like, ordering this on the internet. They could make the cabinets any size we wanted, so it was, like, do we make them even lines, like, every, all three of the sets, like, the same? Do we make some big? Do we make some small? Where do we put the trash can? Like, there was a lot of like micro decisions that would end up affecting the use of the space so much. And luckily Noah has been building a lot of cabinets this year. Shout out to Noah, you know what you're doing. And so it was really nice to have his input of like how high should we make the foot kick or whatever it's called at the bottom. And oh, we should think about a place to put our trash can because that was something that Lou and I had forgot when we were trying to draw out the plan. But we ended up deciding to make the drawers super super like the same depth as the stove so they're massive which is just so nice because when you think of a kitchen like there's actually so much more that goes into like when you don't have a pantry where are you gonna put your like vinegar where are you gonna put your canned goods where are you gonna put your pots and plans and plates plates and forks and all that stuff I feel like that's your standard thought but then in my head I'm like this container is also our bathroom that means like our teeth our toothbrush is gonna live here where is that gonna have a home and like when you have a small space creating functional storage is just I think honestly like the most important thing because small spaces feel better when they're tidy <laughs> And it's very hard to have a tidy place when the things that you have don't have homes. And so that was like a huge theme of like what we were chatting about all week and trying to think of how do we live in this space and have a home for all the different items that we're gonna need. But yeah, so this week has been really, really monumental for our family because the kitchen feels like it's coming together. And 
to just to see, like, to go from having no cabinets to by the end of the week having functional drawers, it just seems like our life is gonna go from glamping to just living in such like a short amount of time. Like, I thought it only made sense to continue this conversation in my beautiful kitchen because it's honestly pretty crazy. When you look at this, look at this. We've got a fully installed stove that it works. We've got an oven. We've got drawers. I feel like just the thought of like figuring out what goes in these drawers, I don't know why that brings me so much joy, but I'm like, do forks and knives and spatulas go here or should they go here? What about plates, bowls, everything. It's like even trying to figure out the wall situation. Right now we're thinking potentially we'll put some shelves here with some mason jars filled with like grains and different things like that. Oh, like that. Like maybe there should be, well this will be cement. Maybe there should be a backsplash. Like I hadn't even thought of a backsplash. So it's like a lot to think about. How do you make this space the most fun and the most functional? And I think for me, it's like, I just wanna be able to cook up a lot of food, enjoy quality time as a family and like have friends over. And so the friend part is difficult because there's not really a seating in here. So I think that's when we're basically just like a summer entertaining place and we maybe we need like a picnic table or something like that. Um, yeah, that's something to think about. Like what, how do you have like people, ah, that, you know what we could do? Lou's thinking that he's gonna put in um, potentially a, let me show you, a, like <laughs> ignore all of the stuff there, but put in a wooden um, patio thing. What's it called? A wooden deck um, between these two containers. So that actually has potential because that has a roof over it. We could like string up some cute lights and put bring, like if we were having people, we could bring the table from the wall tent up here. And then that could actually be a really good option if it was like raining or you like needed shade or something like that. It's just so much to think about and it's honestly just this is the room that I just love spending time in and it's been really cute. Max actually loves being in here too. It's a bit of a construction site, but he just, I feel like when we walk by it, he just reaches out to go in there because I think the space is open and that's what we wanted. Like this is actually a lot of room to learn how to walk. And this is probably where he'll start walking. <sighs> oh my gosh. I just don't, like, can't have such a hard time wrapping my head around how much they can get done in just a few days. You see that? Oh, that's the self close. You can just throw them and they'll just close. I'm thinking cookie sheets, um, muffin tins, all baking related stuff. We've got, just so much storage. Look at that. The drawer just keeps going and going. I think we need to celebrate this kitchen progress with action in the wall tent kitchen. Um, I realized that we have a ton of old potatoes and Lou's one of his absolute favorite foods is gnocchi. And so I thought it could be fun. Maybe we should just try to make gnocchi from scratch. Hello, good afternoon. <laughs> so the plan for today is to celebrate a very big milestone. Step one, boil potatoes. Okay. What'd you find down there? Do 
see the state of the kitchen. This is one of the reasons I'm very excited for a place that has cabinets. What'd you find? My gosh, should we do a family pasta night once a week? Like the Italian nonnas. <laughs> oh, you gonna peel a potato too? Oh. This is what you do, okay? You go like this. The skin just comes right off. I put the skin in the wrong thing, I put it in there. Can you put this one in for me? In the pot. <laughs> you can do it with me. No longer want to eat this anymore until it's cut. Okay. Thanks for the help. I think a little bit more. Yeah. Roll it. <laughs> Roll it. Oop. Okay, you can have that little piece of we're gonna have no yogurt just to do this way. This one. One here, look. What's up? You want out? I think we'll have plenty. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be yummy. And then there's like a technique. You like kind of like roll them over a fork, I think? Yeah. I don't know if we'll be able to get the final aesthetic step. <laughs> oh gosh. You made this, buddy. Uh huh. You made this. Yeah, food time. Maybe we cut it into a little piece. Yeah. It's still hot or no? No. Yeah. You made this. Boop. Thank you. What do we think? Delicious. Do we love it? I know. Do I'm... we love it? More. Mmm. Ooh, yummy. Yummy. Look, you got some. Papa's eating the same thing. Mmm. But it's really good.
Okay, I think we are calling a wrap on today. I think that part of living in the construction site is this, this idea of embracing the chaos. That also means that when bedtime doesn't go according to plan, to just enjoy the fact that everybody's awake at sunset. And we're just so lucky to have this beautiful weather again, to breathe fresh air, and Honestly, to be hanging. Oh, hey. Hello. The gnocchi was Hi. so, so good. <laughs> and yeah, oh my gosh, looking in the camera mirror, a little chaotic. We've done some playing. We've done some <laughs> peekaboo. We've done oh, <laughs> an attempt at a bedtime <laughs> failure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was got you. Okay, go to Papa. We didn't have bedtimes in our house, so we don't have, or when I was growing up, we've continued that tradition. <sighs> but yeah, that's the thing. I feel like it, when you allow the chaos to just come into your life and you embrace it instead of resist it, honestly, sometimes life gets better. It can be challenging at moments for sure, but I think that that's something that we're really learning right now. Oh my gosh, the cutest little trio. How do I do? Oh, yeah. Ray loves to guard the meadow at night. Right? She's like, you deer think you're gonna come in here? Come into my space. All right, bro. All the little. All the yeah. little, all the little. I feel like if you can't stay up late during beautiful all summer nights, well, you're missing out. He was like, I don't want to miss out. Nobody wants to miss out. Yeah. Thanks for making us a kitchen. Good night. Good night, right? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good, good, good night. luck. <laughs> a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. If you've got a lot on your plate and aren't sure you have the time or technical skills to build your own website, check out the link below because Squarespace makes the entire process incredibly easy. They've got a huge range of templates that will help whatever text or images you throw in there look elegant and professional. And the best part of all is that your website will look great on a phone, computer, or tablet without any extra work on your end. Squarespace is the perfect mixture of advanced tools and easy to use features, so you can geek out on analytics for weeks at a time, or on the flip side, you could build an entire website in a couple of hours like we did. If you'd like to start your own website or online store, head to squarespace.com slash wildlyroom for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.